as far as the advanced features go and unlocking um, Wi-Fi on a specific app, you can always go in if you don't want to buy the advanced features. You can go in to parent controls and click do not allow internet connection. And that way none of the apps that you put on Kids Place are actually going to have internet access. So it will block internet access for everything. If there's one app that you want them using and you want them to have internet access for that, you have the option of going in, clicking OK, allow internet connection. And then when you're selecting your apps, just pick that one app. You can literally put just one app on your kid's place for your child to be using. And so let's say my one app that I want them to have internet for is Duolingo. I don't have that on here right now. Um, but, you know, I would just click OK. You know, that's the only app I'm going to have up. That way, I turn on internet, I have that app, they can just stay in that one app and, and have internet for that one app. So, it's not like you have to do the, the whole $5 um, advanced features thing. If you're creative, you can work your way around that. Set the timer on, on the oven <laughs> instead of uh, using the advanced timer. Those are all options. All right, so just for fun, let's go into um, advanced settings. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and whitelist Google Play. And it's asking, do I want to add this to the list? I click yes. And then I go back. All right, so that's the price of the Kids Place premium features, OK? Oh, uh, what is my password? Good question every time. So that lets you see what it looks like to um, to approve an app but block the internet, in which case so. With Kindle, they would have access to all of the books that are on the device, but they wouldn't be able to search the Kindle store unless I went ahead and turned on the internet. Um, the great thing about being able to block internet sites is that it also helps stop ads, which can be so annoying, right? All right, um, so going back to the advanced settings, let's go ahead and look at the timer now. You have a daily schedule and time limit and then you also have the temporary timer. This lets you see. Green indicates that you can do it. Red, blah, blah, blah. All right. So let's say I want my child to practice math, and I want them to practice math um, not ever on Sunday, so I just block out Sunday entirely. Anyway, it's not the smoothest. It's, you know, it works as a swipe or a tap. So that just kind of starts to give you an idea of um, how you can break it down by apps. You can break it down by categories. Um, clear all time slots. Okay. I don't actually want to do that right now. Uh, what I mostly use it for is, like I said, the temporary timer. And it lets you set a specific time of the day, a specific number of minutes, and it also has block times there. Specific time in minutes. Enter the time in minutes. I'm just going to do one minute just to show you how this looks. Now that we've unlocked the advanced features, you see that it's $5 for the entire suite of the advanced features, but that doesn't include the third party or the secondary plugin apps, which would be Kids Place Video Player, uh, Kids Place uh, 
safe browser those are apps where you have to go in download the app separately and then wow that just totally distracted me download the app separately and then buy the license separately as well so when i bought the kids place video player i believe the license was something like two dollars all right so the only way to get past the screen is to put in the parents pin again so it's not like the kids can get back to the apps it's not like the kids can keep playing they're done with their app time